Sequencer takes the Digitech whammy and multiplies its sonic potential. This first mode is called two-step. You'll notice that it switches pitches when I press the button and then again when I release it. Check it out. This next mode's called tap tempo, and with it you can hear a looping sequence of shifted pitches. This next mode is called One Shot, and what it does is each time you press the button, it automatically runs through a sequence of pitches that you've programmed. It also lets you stack them up, so you can press the button a couple times to have it run through multiple times. <laughs> This next mode is called MIDI Clock, and with MIDI Clock you can actually synchronize over a hundred different pedals from different manufacturers to the same clock, so all your effects are in sync. <laughs> You can also play whole riffs just by holding down a single note. On this one, you're going to hear the phaser synchronized with Gquencer because it's using our control sync pedal. <laughs> This next mode is called One Step. Each time you press the button, it moves to the next step in your sequence. It's great for modulating during a solo. This next mode is called Different Settings. It lets you select the different whammy settings you want in any order you want. What I'm going to use it for on this one is just to turn on and off the chorus. Another way to enjoy Gquencer is using MIDI control changes, things like expression controllers or modulation wheels on keyboards or even a chaos pad. The last way to play Gquencer is using notes from a MIDI keyboard. The note you play on the keyboard corresponds to the amount of pitch shift. So that's what Gquencer can do. It can take your stock whammy and transform it eight different ways. If you want to learn more, head over to moltenvoltage.com, and you can always shoot me an email at questions at moltenvoltage.com. Thanks a lot.